Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a how they feel about you love reading where we're going to look at how they're thinking or feeling about you, what they're planning to do about it, and what is the potential outcome. This is for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So let's get into it. Spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Capricorn in love? What messages do you have? For Capricorn, please. Now, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean it's your reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your reading at all, that's okay. Check back next week or check out one of my other readings for Capricorn. All right, let's see, Capricorn. How is this person thinking or feeling about you? How is this person feeling? My cards are going crazy. How is this person thinking or feeling about Capricorn? How are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? Oh my God. What is going on for Capricorn? How are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn at this time? There we go. We got fox and bear. The bear is all about like a new beginning. The fox is clever, but they're also in this, for this deck specifically, uh, a partner for life. The bear is all about a new beginning, starting new, fresh. After being in hibernation for a long time, you're ready to come out and have a new start, a fresh start. So let's see, what can we, Spirit, give us some more information about how they're thinking or feeling about Capricorn. So, so far, I feel like this person is very serious about starting something with you, Capricorn. How are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands reverse. Long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles, stability, tradition, family, the Two of Wands reverse. This could be that someone has chosen a path here or has been unable to decide. Can I get one more? For how this person's thinking or feeling about Capricorn phase. The lovers, wow. Gemini energy. This is about a choice union partnership bottom of the deck king of swords and six of pentacles someone wants to talk to you clear the air whatever decision this is they're doing it with their mind this is not a decision based off of the heart some of you could be dealing with an air sign aquarius libra gemini Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? King of Cups reverse. Heartbreak, disappointment. Could also be emotional manipulation. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Someone wants to reconcile. I feel like they broke your heart or vice versa here. Yeah, this happened in the past. This one, do I want me to take some? 
Nine of Cups reverse. This happened in the past with the Six of Cups. Someone's not over what happened. They could be wanting to return to the past. Nine of Cups reversed. Something just didn't work here is what I'm picking up. What's the bottom of the deck? The world. The Emperor's reverse. Something didn't manifest and it happened, but I feel like someone still wants like a new cycle here. With the Five of Swords reverse, I'm picking up like there was some sort of um, like verbal exchange, fight, conflict that caused a loss of some sort. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? And someone wants to overcome that. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Keep getting that card and readings. The Seven of Wands reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Lack of effort, lack of focus. I feel like something hasn't been working out for your person when it comes to this connection with you. I'm also, it's almost like um, the choices they've made about this connection, they haven't been working. And so it's like your person is thinking about something else here because this has just been heartbreaking and disappointing. Nothing has really worked out the way that your person was hoping or expecting. And so they're switching tactics. It's a new choice, a new decision, a new start. Because where they're at or what happened between you, they're not okay with that. Hmm. Knight of Swords reverse. For some of you, the communication might have been just not the best. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Okay. Six of Wands. Yes, this is motivation. Your person is motivated to choose a different path, one that's actually successful. Because whatever they've been working on here, they kind of like want to give it up because it's, it's not working. I don't know why I'm getting this, When it, like why this is coming up now. How do I say this? Um, I feel like whatever this person wants to give up on, this is outside of you and the Capricorn. Um, hmm. How do I put this into words? I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm talking to, this person went on a different path where you weren't there and that was not successful perhaps this person was unfaithful to you or to someone else and you became involved you're involved in that some in some way that's for some of you i feel like there was there this person was unfaithful either to you or to someone they're with Whatever the case, it wasn't successful. Why is the lovers here? Page of Wands reverse. Why is the lovers here? What can you tell me about the lovers? Yeah, Eight of Cups. You see what I'm seeing here? False starts and then a departure. It's like something's not working, so I'm leaving. This could be you too, Capricorn. Some of you could have left this person because something wasn't working. And now when this person is thinking about you, this is what they're thinking about. Tell me about the lovers. Can I get one more? The sun reverse, bottom of the deck. 
page of swords this is about clearing the air this is communication once again I, i'm picking up like there's communication here about some sort of disconnect or separation something that's been hidden someone wants to clear the air maybe they haven't come clean about something maybe you haven't come clean about something um I'm just getting so many messages. I feel like there's a few a few different groups of you that I'm talking to. Some of you, I feel like this person is walking away from someone to make a different choice. And I feel like you're involved in that. Others of you, I feel like this person, you walked away from them or they walked away from you in the past. And there's something unclear about this. And that's, regardless of whatever boat you're in, I feel like this is someone that wants to try again, have some sort of new beginning here with the bear. Maybe they're being strategic about it. They wanna talk or they're watching you on social media or something like that. So what are they going to do about this, if anything? I'm gonna use my Seller Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that I have available in my shop. It's on sale now, link down below. It's a deck that you can print at home or staples. So what do we need to know about this, Spirit? What do we need to know? Anything that we need to know about this? What is this person gonna do? about what they're feeling or thinking. Are they gonna do anything about this when it comes to Capricorn? Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. There are strong bonds in this connection. What else? True love. This love is genuine and true. Very strong bonds here. Um, but I'm also picking up that this person could be, and there's like a message at the bottom love letter. A message is on its way. I feel like, okay, this ton of pentacles could be that there's some sort of family situation going on. Either there was a long-term commitment between you or this person has had a long-term commitment somewhere outside of you. Let's see. What more can you tell us, Spirit? Can you tell us about what this person is going to do regarding how they're feeling for Capricorn? See if I could. What else do we need to know? Nine of Cups reversed again. What else do we need to know? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Your person definitely is going to take some sort of action. King of Wands gets things done. So I'm not sure why I have this Page of Wands reverse on this side. It's almost like they're thinking about something that in the past they didn't handle very well or something that was a false start in the past. What else can you tell me? I got two. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands reversed again. Seven of Wands reversed. This is someone that is... Um, 
not having the strength or the courage to stand up to a challenge, someone that could be ready to give up, uh, someone that's unable to stand up for themselves. It could be someone that's being stubborn. They're, they're fighting for something or they're fighting to defend something that, you know, it's, it's just not good, not meant for them anyway. Let me clarify. I wish I had been blessed with bigger hands. Let me clarify. The Capricorn. Show me what I need to see. I feel like there's something I'm missing that I haven't been able to see yet. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. We got the Nine of Cups reverse twice, Seven of Wands reverse twice. We have the Ten of Wands, which is about baggage, responsibilities. We have a Ten of Pentacles. Um, this could be familial responsibilities. Nine of Cups reverse. This is someone that um, either their wish isn't granted there's no emotional satisfaction or they got their wish, uh, but it wasn't what they expected. There's some sort of compromise. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. So I feel like wh whatever your person is going to be doing about this Capricorn, I feel like this has been going on for a while. There is burdens here. There is defensiveness, exhaustion with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you can only be exhausted if you've been doing something a really long time. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. It's like they've been unhappy for so long. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse? The wheel, wow. Your person definitely, they, there's something that they want to change. There is timing here. Something with timing. Wow, Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, this is about new. New love, new opportunity, a new ch changes. Something new. Five of Swords reverse at the bottom. So this is about repairing, recovery, reconciliation. Um, this is about overcoming the fighting, overcoming uh, whatever loss there has been in order in, to have some sort of change here. What's this King of Wands doing here? If this is resonating, uh, let me know in the comments how it's resonating for you. I love hearing from you. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read them all. Two of Wands reverse again. I keep getting the same messages. Two of Wands reverse, but then I have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this is about restoring balance, about giving, but it could also be about taking. Let me see if I can get one more. Six of Pentacles, this is about giving and receiving. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. Actually, tell me about the Six of Pentacles, Spirit. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles working together. Effort where there wasn't before or something that wasn't, it's like they're giving up on something that wasn't working, but now they want to work on something else. The King of uh, Pentacles here at the bottom, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Two of Pentacles, juggling obligations. I feel like there's something here that your person is trying to It's like they're trying to have two things or keep juggling, like keep 
these two pentacles in the air. They're working on this, on restoring balance, but with the two of wands reverse, I'm just picking up like, you know, it's like they want success regardless of whether they make a decision or not. Why is the two of wands reverse? This is about a change of heart, renewed interest in something, changing their mind about. So they changed their mind about it. Yes, exactly. This is the same message. The path that they were on before, they want a different one. They've changed their mind about the path that they're on. They want a different one, a new path. However, I feel like, yeah, three of swords at the bottom and then the two of pentacles again. So I feel like this is not possibly the best thing that they can do. It's like they want to go down a new path, but still be juggling the old things. I don't know why I'm getting this message, but that's what I'm getting. Because I have the Ten of Wands here. So it's like there's a burden here. There's an obligate obligations, responsibilities, a burden, a weight. What's this Ten of Wands about? I feel like it's still here. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed? Not reversed. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I don't know why I'm saying that. Why is the Ten of Wands here? For Capricorn. Queen of Swords. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The world. Wow. I think it was upright, but I'm going to put it kind of like this. Yeah. King of Cups reverse at the bottom. You know what I'm, I'm kind of seeing is someone wanting to drag a burden behind them into a new opportunity. I don't think it's going to work out that way. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I feel like they should be creating a boundary like this Queen of Swords, cutting this burden out. Yeah, but see, they're, they're not free. Your person is not free of this burden, whatever this is. Your person is not free of this burden, Capricorn. They're not free of this burden. So why bring it, you know, it's like they want to have a new beginning and bring this burden along for the ride between, like when it comes to you and them. Which is kind of strange, but that's, that's what they want to do. So let's see, what is the potential outcome? What's the potential outcome for Capricorn and this other person's spirit? Six of Pentacles. What is the equal give and take, giving, receiving? What's the potential outcome here? The full reverse. So that new beginning might be delayed. Whatever new beginning they want, I think there's going to be some delays or something that's preventing someone from starting this new beginning or perhaps they are not looking where they're going. It's not very poor planning, naivete, something like that. What is the potential outcome here for Capricorn? The lovers, again, very interesting that for your particular reading, I got a lot of like multiple cards. I mean, I used three different decks. And I got the same cards repeated. This is about a choice in partner, uh, um, a union here, a logical choice. That's at the bottom of the deck. Strength reverse. And then we have that two of pentacles again. Lack of courage, Leo energy there. Um, Someone who's trying to maybe control the situation a little bit too much. What I see is like I see your person making some effort here to uh, rebalance the situation in some way. 
to even this out to either give something to you or ask you something. Um, I feel like their intention is to have a new beginning, to choose differently. But for some reason, and that's why I was kind of like, they're not free. There's a burden here. And the burden I feel is keeping this world from being like a clean break. Because there's an attachment here. That attachment could be anything. But I have a feeling that has something to do with responsibilities. It could be family related. Uh, it could be um, another commitment. Um, it could be that they have just too much going on in their life. But whatever it is, it's delaying this new beginning. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Um, join us in the extended if you'd like. Hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to support this channel for free. If you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love, I go over all 70 cards upright and reverse in my ebook, Love Tarot Made Easy. It's on sale now and in my shop. It's linked down below. And yeah, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, and subscribes, Capricorn. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.